Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Aiden, from Cartoon Apocalypse, and today I'm back with another Miraculous video. And this video is a little bit different because it's talking about something that was in San Diego Comic-Con 2018. Now, for those of you who don't know, that was actually a thing like a month or two ago. So it's been a little while, but I haven't seen this topic really talked about a lot. And so I thought, you know what, hey, let's just make a video on it. So pretty much in San Diego Comic-Con 2018, we got a lot of information on the new episode Sandboy which is going to be a very plot-filled episode because we will be seeing a lot of Kwamis and they made that very clear in San Diego Comic-Con 2018 is that this episode was going to have a lot of Kwamis. And all of the Kwamis, you guys, all of them. This is an episode loaded with Kwamis. <laughs> Now there was one particular dialogue script that they read off, just Plague and Tiki, which was very fun and we'll go over here in a minute, which is going to be kind of like the part two to this episode, kind of, or video I mean, but first of all I wanted to talk about Sandboy and pretty much what I think is going to go on in that episode. They also had another dialogue of Marinette and Tiki, which basically described what was going on in the episode. The day of this episode is Nuru's, which is Hawk Moth's Kwame. It is Nuru's 360th, 3,500,000th birthday thing. Okay, it's up on the screen. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to say, but it's, it's pretty much his birthday. And when it's a Kwame's birthday, they can all talk to each other in what's called the Miracle Box. And I'm assuming that the Miracle Box is the box that holds all of the Miraculouses. Because Miracle, Miraculous, it, it kind of is similar. I'm pretty sure that's been confirmed before. I mean, that's just my guess. So pretty much Tiki and all of the other Kwamis from all the other Miraculouses, which let me remind you is a lot, are going to be getting together and trying to send a signal to Nuru and pretty much the person who is hosting or not really hosting but the, the main person who was talking in san diego comic-con was like they're all going to be sending a message letting nuru know that they're there and they're trying to get him free pretty much that's what he described it as we're trying to get a message but we need the power of all the kwamis to work together to send like a beacon that message over to nuru to say we forgotten about you we know you're with hawk moth we're doing what we can to free you well now tiki also says that master fu doesn't want the kwamis to leave the owner's sides so they're probably gonna have to do it without master fu's permission now tiki also mentions that the more kwamis there are the more chance they have of succeeding so I'm just trying to get the fact out that there are going to be a lot of Kwamis in this episode, like Kwami Overload, like oh man, I can't wait to see this episode. This episode is going to be so plot filled, if you know me, you know I love the plot filled episodes, I also like the uh, Adrianette episodes, but plot filled episodes are my favorite, and uh, the man, the recent season 2 episodes have had so much plot and it just keeps on getting better and better so it makes me super excited for season 2B. I will leave a link to a full video of the full panel down in the description below if you want to with some time codes to the two different scripts. There was also a maledicator script but I'm not really going to talk about that. That was I might talk about that in a future video but for now I think we're fine. This was more important. But pretty much this episode is going to have a lot of Kwamis. Like, I'm just trying to pound that into your guys' head because this is super exciting. Kwamis are the mainframe of this whole miraculous thing. Without the Kwamis, we wouldn't have Ladybug. So this is a huge deal. And we could be meeting all of the different Kwamis. And judging just by meeting the Kwamis, we might be able to piece together even better what each Kwami will go with. Like, Tiki just seems to go really well with Marinette, same with Plague and Adrian, and I don't know, Trix and Alia seem to go well together. Trix just made it seem like she was a smarter Kwame, and Alia is a pretty smart person as well. So, I just feel like from getting a look at these Kwamis, we will be able to tell a little bit better who their miraculous holders will be, which, I mean, if it's not already obvious already, there's tons of videos out there on it. But I feel like it'll be interesting to see 
if we can piece together it better, which if we can, I'll be making a video on it. <laughs> But I don't know when Sandboy comes out. We have had no new news on when the episodes come out. Pretty much we just have no news at all. It's all just... But hey, the only piece of news that we have from Miraculous is that Burger King is having them as toys. So, yeah, if you like Miraculous toys, go to Burger King and get a kid's meal. So, <laughs> anyway, let's get back to this other part, which is the Tiki and Plague, because there might be a little bit of Tiki x Plague in here, which, I mean, just makes it even better for Adrianette, so, just, just because it just makes so much sense, and, ugh, you know, it, there's tons of videos on that, so let's go ahead and talk about the evidence that this has. And now, you may notice a very similar resemblance to Ladybug and Cat Noir, which, honestly, it makes me believe that Tiki and Plague input some sort of of themselves into Ladybug and Cat Noir. I don't feel like Cat Noir is fully just Adrian. I feel like it's a little bit of Plague in there as well. Same with Tiki. And I don't know, that might not be anything. That's just what I gathered from this little transcript. Now, pretty much it starts off with Plague saying, hmm. Hey Sugar Cube, which is like, whoa, Sugar Cube, that's, that's, that's a huge thing, that's like, that's worse than Adrian saying my lady, like, or Bugaboo, that, not my lady, my lady's fine, but Bugaboo, that's like the equivalent to Bugaboo for Cat Noir, which is like one of the biggest things, like, Sugar Cube is the Bugaboo for Plague, so, that's, <laughs> you see, you see where I'm getting with that other whole, like, oh, Plague is part Cat Noir. Alright, let's move on. Tiki says, Oh, I've already told you not to call me that. You ever hear me calling you Stinky Sock? Which, I feel like we should all call uh, Plague Stinky Sock now. I, I don't know, that's just me. Now Plague says, Uh, no, but you should. That would be delightful, Sugar Cube. So what lie did you tell your owner to sneak out tonight? Now again, with Plague saying Sugar Cube again, and Adrian just keeps on saying Bugaboo, or Cat Noir, I guess. Now he keeps on saying Bugaboo, and... Like, even when Ladybug told him to stop, he didn't, which Plague didn't stop here either. So there's a huge resemblance between the two. And Tiki replies with, well, actually, I just told her the honest truth. Plague said, um, okay, maybe I should try that someday, see what it's like. And then Tiki said, Plague, you could have saved some for the others, which Tiki is talking about Camembert because Plague was eating cheese when they first came here. You know, I would recommend going to watch the panel where they actually acted this out because it was very good. And they actually had the actual voice actor, so it sounded almost exactly like what it would sound. Now, Plague replies with true, but I was so grossed out by your kindness that it really made me hungry. Again, reminds me of something that Cat Noir would say. And then he continues eating. Now Tiki says, oh boy, I hope we can get in contact with Nuru. And then Plague says, so do I. And then in quotations it says, starts crying, which maybe he starts crying because he's sad. And then Tiki's like, are you crying? And then Plague was like, oh, n no, who, me? Of course not. Haha, <laughs> are you kidding? Come on, let's race. Last one out. Blank cheese. Bye. Now the reason why there's a blank there is because the audio from the San Diego Comic Con clip, the microphone popped which is why you have a pop filter on your mics so that it doesn't like, pop, pop, you know, like it, it, so it doesn't, the audio doesn't get messed up. So with the audio being messed up, we can't actually tell what that last word is. And my personal opinion is like the last one out cuts the cheese. I, I don't know. It just seems like a pun, which Cat Noir makes puns, plague. I don't know. If you see where I'm going with this, it's like, well, it seems like there is more to Cat Noir than just Adrian. Now, another thing that I believe just from this is that Plague was pretty good friends with Nuru just because he started crying over the fact that he hasn't seen Nuru in a while, which it makes sense because, I mean, it, I mean, if you haven't seen someone for a while, you could get sad over it, so, especially if they were, like, your best friend, so I'm assuming that Plague and Nuru have a very good friendship, so that'll be interesting to see. 
So this video was more of just a discussion video, just kind of talking about this and how the f there was going to be a huge, miraculous gathering, or should I say Kwame gathering. I'm super excited for this video. Sandboy is the episode that's going to be very good. I don't know if any other episode will be as good as this until the finale, which, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for the finale as well. The Queen's Battle is probably going to be good as well. I love everything with plot, and the last few episodes seem like they're going to have a decent amount of plot. So I am super excited for this, and I hope that you guys are too. Now, talking about the second section, do you guys think that Plague and Tiki are a thing or will be a thing? Not are a thing, but will be a thing. Because Plague and Tiki are pretty much a mirror of Cat Noir and Ladybug. If you ask me, some might disagree, but if you ask me, they're pretty much a mirror. To me, it just makes sense if Plague and Tiki were together and eventually Adrian and Marinette will get together. I mean, come on, it's the OTP. I mean, sorry if you ship something else, but I mean, I think we all know that that is canon. Thomas Ustrecht has confirmed that they will get together at some point, Marinette and Adrian, they will get together at some point as a real couple, he confirmed that on Twitter, but for now, they're not, and for now, Tiki and Plague aren't, but it just gets me super excited for when they reveal their identities to each other, which, I don't know when that will be, that may be on the season 2 finale, so I'm just going to leave it off at there, and thank you for watching this video, if you guys want to see more content similar to this, then you can go ahead and subscribe and leave a like and yada yada, but anyway, that's going to wrap it up for today's video, and I'll talk to you guys later, goodbye. There's no one, okay?